All right, we're getting dribs and drabs of an interview that uh, Barack Obama has had with uh, the New York Times Magazine uh, with the reporter Nat Bai. Now, among the things that the senator points out is that he made a mistake with the uh, infamous uh, guns and religion comments in Pennsylvania. He explains that, but he also goes on to chide Fox News, saying, I am convinced that if there were no Fox News, I might be two or three points higher in the polls. He goes on to say, if I were watching Fox News, I wouldn't vote for me, right? Because the way I'm portrayed 24-7 is as a freak. I am the latte sipping, New York Times reading, Volvo driving, no gun owning, a fat, politically correct, arrogant liberal who wants somebody like that. Of course, uh, just because we challenge some of your economic assumptions, Senator, we say nothing about whether you like lattes or not. Um, it's just putting up with a little bit of heat that maybe you're not getting in the media kitchen. Reaction now from pollster Frank Luntz. Frank, what do you make of that? You know, it's interesting. I would have thought that Obama would have appeared on Fox much more often. You guys get more viewers than MSNBC and CNN combined. You consistently report information that the public wants to see, which is why your ratings are so high. People are paying attention to this election campaign. I think Obama's only mistake in this campaign is that he hasn't appeared on Fox more because half of your viewers are either independent or Democrat. Do you guys lean Republican in terms of viewership? Absolutely. But half the viewers don't. And so I don't know why he doesn't spend more time. You realize that there are more Democrats that watch Fox News than watch MSNBC? So I think that he's actually not looking at the numbers. He's making a case because it will excite the left-wing blogs. But if he actually analyzed it, if this were academia, you'd say, Senator, that just doesn't hold water. All right, and, and to say nothing of the fact that we've heard from McCain folks who complain on this show when we sort of question and rip apart the, the numbers behind their numbers and whether they add up. We do this uh, with both sides. Uh, but th that, that being said, um, Barack Obama is, uh, you know, a gifted politician, but when he is challenged, whether substantively or, or on any other issue, he takes great issue. Um, does this show a vulnerability and something... Um, that we should watch, or is this just a typical candidate who doesn't like criticism? Few do, by the way. Well, they don't like it. And I, having worked in politics for more than a decade, I had people who would say to me, Frank, tell me the truth. I can take it. I want to learn. And then when I actually do it, I get my final paycheck and I never talk to them again. So there are a lot of politicians just like that. That said, Obama has had a blessed life. You know, the joke goes that when he goes home, he goes home to Bethlehem, his birthplace how well the, the, the media has treated him. So he's going to have to get used to the rough and tumble world of politics because life is not going to be so great. That said, Neil, he is a great communicator. He is a, a, a great speech maker. And if these numbers hold up that we see in so many of the polls, this guy's going to come in not only with a strong majority in the election, but something close to 60 seats in the Senate and 25 more seats in the House. There isn't going to be much of a check on him on Capitol Hill, so it's going to require people like you to be a check on him in the media. Well, I think we're all out for the Obama presidential Christmas party, if that were to happen, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Frank, always a pleasure. Thank you, my friend. Pleasure. Frank Luntz. All right, uh, Carl Rove responding to this uh, and whether this has any fallout on the campaign or what might be said tonight. Fox News suddenly front and center as an evil force? My goodness.